Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the arc and the rectangle tools. So first let's start with the arc tool. We'll go into the sketch tab underneath the create panel. And we'll select the drop down of the arc. And here we have three arc tools. We have the three point arc, the tangent arc, and the center point arc. So let's start with the three point arc and we'll select the XY plane to draw this on. And firstly, we need to select the start of the arc so we can left click anywhere in the graphics window. And then we will select the end point of this arc. We can either select again anywhere in the graphics window or use the dynamic input boxes. So I will select here. And then finally, we need to define the radius of the circle. So here I will input a dimension of 12 millimeters as the radius of this arc. The very easy, straightforward tool to use. Next, we'll take a look at the arc tangent tool. So to demonstrate this, I will need to draw some lines for our arc to be tangent to. So I've now drawn two 25 millimeter lines at a distance of eight millimeters. Let's select that arc tangent tool. And then we need to define the start point of this tangent arc, which will always be at the end point of a existing geometry. So I will select this point here. And as we move the mouse, we can see that the arc is tangential to that line just here. And so we can choose to end this, let's say here. Let's do that again. And this time we'll choose the other side of the line. So we'll select the end point of this line. We can see the arc is tangential to it. Then we'll select the end point of our top line. And there we have a slot. Then the very final arc tool is the center point arc. So for this, first of all, we define the center of our arc. We then need to define the starting point. So here I will use the dynamic input boxes. So I'll state a radius of eight millimeters. I'll then press tab and state a angle of zero. And now our starting point is on the horizontal and then we can define the end point. So here I will enter a dimension of 150 degrees and there we have an arc at 150 degrees with a eight millimeter radius. So those are the three arc tools, very straightforward to use. And as you progress throughout Autodesk Inventor, you'll become more and more familiar with these. And moving on, let's take a look at the rectangle tools. So if we go into the drop down, we can see there are four rectangle tools, then there are a series of slot tools, and the last option is a polygon tool. In this tutorial, we will just cover the four rectangle tools. So we'll look at the two point rectangle, the three point rectangle, two point center, and the three point center rectangle. All of these are very straightforward to use. So we'll start with the two point rectangle. Our very first click defines one of the corners of the rectangle, and then the second click defines the end corner of the rectangle. So we can either click anywhere in the graphics window or we can use the dynamic input boxes. So here I will enter 150 millimeters in length, followed by 75 millimeters in height. Press enter. There we have our rectangle. Next, let's take a look at the three point rectangle. So here we're defining the first corner of the rectangle. And then we need to define a second corner of our rectangle at an angle. So here I can enter 250 millimeters. I'll press tab on the keyboard and enter an angle of five degrees to the horizontal, press enter. And then we can define the height. Let's say that's 60 millimeters. There we have a rectangle at an angle of five degrees, 250 mil in length and 60 mil in height. Next, we have the two point center rectangle. So here our very first click defines the center of the rectangle and our last click defines one of the corners. So we can use the input boxes or just click anywhere. I'll just click there and there we have our center point rectangle. And next we have the three point center rectangle. So again, our first click defines the center of the rectangle. We then need to define a second point of the rectangle. So I'll click there. And then we can define the height. So in this case, I'll click here. There we have the four types of rectangle tools. Which concludes the arc and rectangle tools. I will see you in the next tutorial.